if you guys can tell, but this mug is about the same size as my face. Hello you guys, what is up? It's Taylor Janet. Welcome back to my channel. I had full intentions of this being the week that I filmed my like annual like week in my life. I wanted to film a week in my life at Spelling College because I filmed what around this time last year and I got so much good feedback. I was like, it's time for round two. And this was supposed to be like a perfect week to do it. I think it was my first full week of school. And I started the vlog, everything, and I started community service this week. I just had a lot going on in the best way possible and I wanted to take you guys with me. So, um, but unfortunately you guys, things happen. I wasn't feeling well and strep throat took me down. It's really hard, you know, like, I went to the doctors by myself. I drove myself to the doctors. They tested me for the flu. They tested me for strep. They wanted to test me for mono, but I said no because I'm afraid of needles. And I was very shocked that my strep test came back positive. A little like context to uh, my life is I feel like I get sick like twice a year, like once in the fall once in the spring maybe three to four times a year i don't know but i feel like i get sick like enough like enough like maybe like two to four times a year i'm sick so at least one to two times a year when i'm not feeling well and i go to the doctors like they test me for strep and like my throat will be on fire can't swallow hurts to breathe and every single year it comes back negative so this year when they tested me for strep i know the deal you know they do the little the little little swab thing i hated that they tested me for the flu and they swabbed me in my nose and i hated that more i think i've been tested for the flu before but i can't remember being like tested through my nose but i think the nurse was just like mad aggressive i think that was the problem it was like not fun so i'm really glad i said no to the blood work because that probably would have been really really bad really bad because if she made like regular like nose and mouth swabs painful i can't even imagine anything else but anywho I was waiting for my results and I kind of felt like awkward coming to the doctors because like I have this thing where I don't go to the doctors until it's like bad and I know I'm sick so right now I was kind of like not sure if I was sick or if it was like allergy season can it even be allergy season in September I have no idea but I was like I kind of had allergy symptoms like coughing sneezing sinuses Ugh this right here hurt i felt kind of awkward going to the doctors because i was like i might not even be sick they might be like you're so dramatic why are you here and then earlier yesterday i got what i assume is a fever because i was freezing i was like convulsing in my room and i had to bring my blanket from the living room in here and i was just bundled up i have a mentorship program every tuesday so that's on the computer i did that but then after that i went straight to the doctors and they were like aha you're sick and i was like oh okay so i actually wasn't allowed to go to school yesterday because strep throat is apparently contagious so i've kind of just been in my room for a really long time i didn't even like go into the kitchen because i don't want to get delana sick i've just been chilling i have some tea i'm allowed to go back to class today but i'm not supposed to be doing anything besides school um i have volunteering this morning but i'm not allowed to go because <clears throat> I'm technically still contagious um, until it's been 24 hours, but I'm gonna go to class anyways But by the time I have my class it should be around 24 hours So I think I should be good. That's why I didn't film a week in my life. I really have already been talking for six minutes So I was pretty bummed that I didn't get to film a week in my life There's always next week. I guess so I kind of thought as a compromise I could film a day in my life a day in the life with me and my strep throat. I've never had strep before. My throat doesn't even really hurt that bad. It's more like swollen, like really bad down here. I need to eat something because right now I'm just trying to figure out what I feel like eating. I'm not hungry, but I know I have to eat before I can take my medicine. So I'm maybe gonna make some breakfast and then study. I have some homework to do for my classes today because I tried but I didn't really have a lot of energy yesterday I just slept all day um so I'm gonna prep for class I have a quiz today in women's studies which I'm ridiculously nervous for I feel like I shouldn't be nervous I actually did the readings for this class so I shouldn't be nervous I try really hard to practice what I preach in my like advice videos on how to get good grades I always say actually do the reading so I in return actually have to do the reading so I feel like I do have an advantage because I've read the material but 
I just don't want to get the content mixed up because I think it's gonna be like kind of like an in-class essay. But yeah, I think I'm gonna make maybe some hash browns, I guess. I really don't feel like eating right now, so I'm just gonna make some because I also, like this is another random like tangent. <laughs> I don't know what the purpose of this video is. It's supposed to be my day in my life, but I keep talking. Also, I'm like very like sensitive to medicine, like I cannot take medicine on an empty stomach or I will get nauseous. Like, and the same is gone for a few other medicines, so I always have to eat before I take medicine. And this, these pills are huge, you guys. They're like this big they're like this big uh yeah um i think i'm gonna like this might be a good like thumbnail me and my tea so i think i'm gonna take my oh also i'm gonna show you guys my mug real quick it says wake up and be awesome i got it at target um it's like not like my favorite saying like not really but i got it because the other one was like wifey's always right and like mama needs her coffee and i was like ha not a mother or a wife, so it's wake up or be awesome. All right guys, let's make breakfast. Cooking up some hash browns now. I don't really feel like eating turkey bacon because I've had it the past two days, so I'm just gonna eat this. Here's my breakfast. Not super nutritious, but it's enough food so that I can take my medicine and then I'll probably eat a real meal when I'm actually hungry. Alright guys, I just ate those potatoes. Honestly, they were a little too salty. I fumbled the bag, but whatever. Now I'm about to take my pill. Dose two. I wanted to show you guys before I took it though how big it is. Like, Literally you guys, this pill is so big. I'm always afraid I can't get it down. I just poured some juice. Honestly, I don't even know why they make pills this big. Like, this is way too big, but gotta do what we gotta do. Dose two is in. Now I have the kettle on. I'm about to disinfect the kitchen just because I was in here. I'm gonna make myself a cup of tea. I usually do um, peach detox tea because it's my favorite. It's so good, but I feel like you shouldn't be drinking detox tea like all the time. So today I'm just gonna have some green tea with mint because um, I have a lot of that. And I really like green tea, so that should be good. But yeah. Tea of the day, I'm about to make some. Then I'm gonna disinfect the kitchen while my water is heating up in the kettle. And I was trying to avoid going down to the business center while I'm still recovering. But honestly, I really can't get work done in my room. And honestly, I'm expected to go back to school today. So honestly, I feel like it'll be okay if I go to the business center today just because it's been almost 24 hours. I'm gonna bring this cup of tea with me, which is always fun but yeah i'm just gonna disinfect the kitchen make some tea and then head down to do some work i don't think i'm gonna take a nap i might nap when i get back but right now i feel pretty good i got a decent amount of sleep last night so woo, progress <laughs> All right guys, so I just got a notification that I just got a package downstairs. I'm about to go get that. It's around one o'clock now. <sighs> I think I might head to campus early just cause I need to get out of the house. I really need to get some fresh air. And yeah, so I'm gonna go get my package. 
probably eat a snack or something. I don't know. All right guys, so I went to class. I had two classes today. I had macro theory and women's studies. I had a quiz in women's studies. It wasn't too bad. I was really nervous. Definitely could have been better, but definitely was not as bad as I thought. So both of my classes were pretty good. I just went to class, came straight back home towards the end of my women's studies class. I was like having my sinuses, like really tired ready to come home basically I'm not doing any like extracurriculars for the rest of the week just so I can sleep because my little prescription thingy also says to get sleep so I'm actually like forcing myself to like get rest and stuff like that it's the first week of practice for mr. junior class council puts that on so uh, the pageant is in a couple of weeks I'm really really excited and I'm kind of bummed that I can't be at practices today or tomorrow I went on Monday, and I'm going to be there on Sunday. I think I'll be better by Sunday. But, yeah, I'm kind of bummed that I can't be there today or tomorrow. So I ate some dinner. I ate some of the pasta that Delena made, and then I took a nap literally only for 20 minutes. I really couldn't sleep, but I, at least I got some rest, and I changed into sweats. I've got my Spellman sweatpants on, my London sweatshirt, nice and cozy. I'm not even going to the business center. I'm just going to do work. From right here, I just turned in the oven. I want to bake some cookies. Let me show you guys the cookies that I'm really loving right now. They're so good. Okay, so this is me and Delena's freezer. So these are the cookies that I got. They're from Trader Joe's. They're the chunky chocolate chip cookie dough. They are so bomb. It's like dark chocolate. So I think there's like half a pack left. I usually make like two to four. Depending on if Dylan is going to eat some at night. Honestly, the one thing I'm craving like more than anything for the past three days is ice cream. But I definitely know I should not be eating ice cream. So I'm just eating cookies to compensate for the fact that I'm craving Ben and Jerry's cookie dough ice cream. Serious willpower is... It's taking some serious willpower every day when I'm driving home. I think about like going to the store to pick some up. And I'm like, no, Taylor. Like... You're not supposed to have that much dairy, so, yeah. I definitely, I don't know why I thought this day would be a good day to vlog, so I'm sorry this vlog was kind of boring. I'm just about to go do some work, so I'm going to wrap up my little vlog now. It's like a vlog slash life update, I guess, but, ooh, the oven is ready. So, yeah, I'm sorry this day was not that exciting. I don't know what made me think it was going to be an exciting day to vlog because I'm literally sick. But I think I just really missed vlogging and I missed you guys and I wanted to let you know that I didn't forget about you. It's just been kind of crazy. But hopefully I'm hoping to film some more videos next week. And yeah. <laughs>